Hey, how's it going? Just going to show you how to play Walking Paranoia by Mute Math today. Uh, just before we jump into it, I'll let you know you can now support me at Patreon. There's a link below and a video also linked there explaining what that all is. Um, now that that's out of the way, let's jump into the lesson. Um, this track, just one guitar part and we're using a pick. And we're in standard tuning except for our sixth string, which has just dropped a half step to an E flat. Um, but once you're, you've done that, you're ready to go. So I'll, um, I'll talk through, I'll give you an example of each part and then I'll talk through how to play them. Um, there's a few parts to this song. There's the intro, chorus, verse, bridge, and a little solo. Um, all right, so here we go. Um, so yeah, I'll start with the intro. Right, so this is obviously heard right at the very, very start of the song and only happens the once. Um, so the very first note is 4th fret on the 5th string. And then we get to this, this part. So in the 6th fret, um, play 5th, then 4th, then 3rd string. And then 8th fret on the 4th string then 8th fret on the 3rd string, 9 on the 2nd, and then uh, 7 on the 2nd to 8, play that twice, and then back to 7 on the 2nd, and then 8 twice again. And we're just going to um, play this, uh, just repeat this a few times. So you play it the three times, and then you just sit on this eighth fret on the third string. And you can slide into it a few times, and that's something that's, that's done throughout the song, this sort of little slide in. Um, but that's, that's the intro riff. Um, so then we've got the next bit that you hear before the, the first verse is actually the same as the chorus guitar. So it's, it's the chorus, but just without the vocals over it. So what happens? Is um is I'll play through it and then I'll I'll show you what what it is. Then you're into the verse there. All right, so it has this little repeating phrase. So we're just sliding into the 8th fret on the 3rd string, then we go 7 on the 2nd string, back to 8 on the 3rd, and then we do a little, um, so 9th fret on the 2nd string, bend that up, and back to 9, then pull off to 7, and then 8 on the 3rd string. So you play that two times, then you've got this little, this little run down here. So on the second string, play nine twice. Second time, pull off to seven, then eight on the third, back to seven on the second. Then we go eight, six on the third string, then six, eight on the fourth string. And then, um, so 6th fret on the 4th string, and we bend that up and back, and then pull off to 4, and finish on 6th uh, sixth fret on the 5th string. Then we go back to the first little bit one more time. Um, I'm not sure if this happens in the recording, but it sort of sounds good. Just do this little hammer on uh, 6 to 8, and then 4 to 6 on the 4th string before you get into the verse. Um, so yeah, the chorus through again. All right. 
right? And so these low notes are the first part of the verse. And the verse goes like this. All right, so obviously just hitting this low note, just open sixth string, going back between this and some octaves. The first octave is between ninth fret on the fifth string and 11 on the third. Just give it one sort of strong downstroke. Open sixth, move your octave back three frets, so you now got six and eight on the fifth and third strings. Open six string twice and then move your octave back another two frets. So you've got four and six. And then back to where you were with the six and eight octave. Do this another another time. Then we do the first half. So these first two octaves. Do the open low notes and then so that's sort of barring the 13th fret on the 3rd and 2nd string with your 3rd finger and sort of barring the 11th as well um, over those two strings. Getting that ready. This little bend. So you bend the, the 13 up and back and then pull off uh, to the 11th fret. And then do the, the octaves again. And that's the verse. Um, all right, so then, yeah, it goes back to the chorus where it plays the those little bits. Um, the chords underneath, if you just wanted to play them. Just power chords, but because we've dropped our sixth string down to an E flat, it's gonna look like this. So fifth on the sixth string and six on the fifth string. Move that all up three frets, so you've now got eight and nine, and then up to 12 and 13. Just loop that around. Um, all right, so then, yeah, not much to go. Just the, the little bridge uh, that happens. You just hear a little guitar just doing this. Um, so this is just on the top two strings on the 11th fret and just strumming these. Um, so yeah, you just do that twice and then you're right into the solo. So it's a pretty straightforward solo. Um, I've just got a little loop with the sort of bass line going underneath it just to put it in context for you. That's all it is. Um, all right, so what it is. Um, so 11th fret on the first string, 14 on the second, and then 13 on the third. But we're just going to bend that up straight away. Bend it back, pull off to 11, and then 13 bending up again. So you have. That's the first little bit. And then the second part. Just starting on the 14th fret on the second string. 13 on the third, bending up again. Sort of bend up twice. Second time, bend it back down. And pull off to 11. And then hit 13 on the fourth string. And then we just repeat these two, um, two parts again. And that's the solo. And that's all the parts for this song. Um, hope you enjoyed the lesson. 
hope you enjoy the song and the the album and the band uh, they're really cool um yeah so if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below and i'll try and answer them for you um again uh, like i said at the top of the video you can support me on patreon there's a link below and if you could that would be amazing um but thanks again for watching and i'll catch you in the next lesson <laughs>